Hello friends if you looking for how to use password hash method for login and registration in PHP script. In this tutorial we will discuss how to use PHP password hash method for secure login and registration. This PHP password hash method will create new password hash by using effective one-way hashing algorithm. This method first introduced under PHP 5.5 version and it will create new password hash with 60 characters long and we will store that hashed password into our database and it is very difficult to hack or and it can be verified by using password verify method. If you are build any application and you want to implement strong login for your application then you can use this password hash method for strong login registration for your application. When we will register into this type of registration then password will be hashed by password hash method and store into database and while we will log in into system then this type of hashed password can be verified by using password verify method. This is our test database, in which we have one user's table with three table column like id, username and password. In this table we will store user login data and in password field we will store hashed password not in simple string format. This is our index.php page and on this page we have to first make simple HTML registration form. So for this we have write HTML form tag with attribute method is equal to post. In this form first we have to define text box for entering username, so for this we have write input type is equal to text with name is equal to username. We can enter username data into this text box. Then after in this form we have defined one other text box for entering password. For this we have write input type is equal to text and attribute name is equal to password. Here we have use input type text not password this is for learning purpose so we can see which password we have entered into this field, this is because then after password will be hashed. For submitting form data we want to create one submit button so for this we have input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to register and value is equal to register. This way we have create simple registration form. When index.php page load then at the time this registration form will be appear on the web page. For registration user can fill this form field and he can register under system. Below this form we have create one login link, so for login if user already registered then he can click on this link and he can directly go to login page. So for this we have write anchor tag with attribute href is equal to index.php question mark with url variable action is equal to login with anchor text login. This way we have create login link. When we have click on this link page bin redirect to this link in this index.php page link but in this link there is URL variable action equal to login. When page has redirect to this URL then at the time login page must be appear on the web page. For load login form under index.php page. So for this we have write open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write of statement with condition like is set function with argument like dollar get action variable is equal to login. This condition first check value of dollar get action variable is set or not and if set then it is equal to login then it will load if block of code. So in this block if we want to load login form. So for this we have write HTML form tag with attribute method is equal to post. In this form first we have to define text box for entering username, so for this we have write input type is equal to text with name is equal to username. We can enter username data into this text box. Then after in this form we have defined one other text box for entering password. For this we have write input type is equal to text and attribute name is equal to password. Here we have use input type text not password this is for learning purpose so we can see which password we have entered into this field, 
This is because then after password will be hashed. For submitting form data we want to create one submit button so for this we have input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to login and value is equal to login. This way we have create simple login form. When index.php page with URL variable action is equal to login then at that time it will load login form. For login user can field this form field and he can log into system. Below this form we have create one register page link, so for non-registered user can click on this link and he can go for registration he can directly go from here. So for this we have write anchor tag with attribute href is equal to index.php with anchor text register. This way we have create register page link. But when index.php page load without URL variable action then at that time we want to load registration form. So for this we have write else block of code and in this block we have simply copy registration HTML form code. So when index.php load without URL variable action then it will load registration form but if it has been load with URL variable action then at that time it will load login form. So our HTML code is ready for registration and login form. In PHP code first we have make database connection. So for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connect function with for argument like host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. This way we have make database connection. After making database connection we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Now we have write registration code, for register user will fill this register form and then submit form data by click on register submit button. So we have write of statement with condition like is set dollar post register. Here register is the submit button name and this condition will check value of this button is set or not. If value are set then it will execute if block of code and in this block first we have write if statement with condition like empty function with argument dollar post username variable or operator again we have write empty function with argument dollar post password variable. Here both post variable is the username and password text box and this condition check if both text box or one of text box has no value then if will execute if block of code. And in this block we want to display alert message like both fields are required. So for this we have write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag we have write alert box with text like hey both fields are required. This will produce alert message if both or one of the fields has no value. But if both fields has value the it will execute else block of code and in this block we have write dollar username variable is equal to miscle real escape string with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post username variable. This function will escape special character from string and produce clean string and store into dollar username variable. After this we have write dollar password variable is equal to miscle real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post password variable. This function will remove special character from string and store clean text under dollar password variable. Now we want to create hashed password so we have write dollar password variable is equal to password hash method with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar password variable. In this variable we have store password in string format and in second argument we have write password default. It will use crypt algorithm for create hashed password from string password and store into this dollar password variable. After this we want to insert user data into user table so for this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into users table username and password fields with values which we have get from dollar username and dollar password variable. Our insert data query is ready.
Now we want to execute this query so for this we have write if statement with condition like a miscly query function with two argument in first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is our database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar query variable in which we have store our insert query. This function will execute this insert query and insert data into users table. After inserting data into users table we want to show alert message with text like registration done, so for this we have write echo statement with open and close script tag and between this tag we have write alert with message like registration done. So after registration this alert message will appear on web page. So our registration code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends you can see on browser. Here is simple registration form with two fields like username and password and below this field there one registration button and below this form there is one login page link when we have click on this link page has been redirect to login page and on this page there is also two field with one login button and below form we have register page link when we have click on this link we have redirect to register page and on this page we have enter username as Smith Jones and in password Password field we have write password and click on register button. After click register button registration done message appear on the page. Now we can show user table. Under this table we can see that in username field there is Smith Jones and under password field we can see that hashed password with 60 character long store under this table. 